Welcome, this is question 16 on OCR Gateway Physics P6 or Further Additional Science P6. This question is about transformers and power transmission. Look at the diagram of a transformer. So this is a transformer here. You're told some of the information and you have to work out the third, the fourth bit of information. You're told the input voltage, you're told the number of turns on the primary coil, and you're told the, no the voltage on the secondary coil, you have to work out the number of turns in the secondary coil. So that is, if you like, the missing fourth bit of information. As with any calculation, you're going to start by looking at the equation sheet, find an equation that is relevant, input the numbers, and perform the calculation. So pause the video and have a little go at that now. Hopefully you've found the equation. The equation is actually written in words, but I'm just going to write it in algebra because it is a little bit easier to use it. So, voltage across the primary coil divided by voltage across the secondary coil is equal to the number of turns across the primary coil divided by number of turns on the secondary coil. It means the ratio of the voltages from primary to secondary is the same as the ratio of turns from primary to secondary primary to secondary now input the numbers that you know you know the input voltage vp 220 volts you know the secondary voltage 11 volts you know the number of turns on the primary coil 4000 turns you don't know the number of turns on the secondary coil that's something that you have to work out so the way I advise that you do these um, these calculations with four uh, quantities is start by reducing this factor by calculating that factor, then rearrange by taking the one from the top of the fraction over to the top of the new fraction. So let me show you how that works one step at a time. Firstly, 220 divided by 11, well, you can do that in a calculator, it's 20, equals 4,000 divided by number of turns in the secondary. Now move the uh, 4,000 from the top of the fraction to the top of a new fraction. 4,000 divided by tw 20 equals ns. So again, use a calculator, save yourself the brain power for later. 200. So how many turns on the secondary? There would be 200. You don't need a unit for this, but you could write 200 turns. That is a two mark question. On to part B then, and actually it does say turns in the answer box there, so you don't need to worry about that at all. A town requires 100 million watts of electrical power. What is the unit of power? Transformers at the power st at the power station step up the voltage to thousands of volts. Now don't get confused between watts W and volts V. Look at the information in the table about transmission of power to the town. The information compares two possible supply voltages: 20,000 volts. That's there. That's this column, left-hand column, or. 4 million volts now actually it says 4 million there and then it says 400,000 there this 4 million is the typo but that's what they're talking about there now it's more efficient to transmit at 400,000 volts explain why use relevant equations in your answer so although it's not a calculation this time you need to use relevant equations so you need to go and find the two equations that are relevant to this question and that should be your start point on answering this question. It's a free mark question so take your time and make sure you write three clear points. Pause the video and have a go. Okay well the first marking point is basically why does the high voltage reduce the current? Well this equation is called the transformer power equation and it's the last equation in the equation sheet and it's written in algebra. V P I P equals V S I S. Now power is V times I. 
electrical power is voltage times current. So what this is saying is the power on the primary is the same as the power on the secondary. So if we increase the voltage on the secondary, we reduce the voltage on the, sorry, the current on the secondary. I'll say that again. If we increase the voltage on the secondary, we reduce the current on the secondary. So you can see here, high voltage, low current. So quoting this equation and explaining that high voltage means lower current. Okay? High V means low I. Now, there's another equation that says, well, why does the low I actually matter? And it's about this point here. Look how much more the power loss is. This is 75 million watts. And this is only 187,500 watts. So this is much higher. And it's not the same increase as 250 to 5,000. It's much more than that. And that's because of another equation that you've got in the formula sheet, which is written in words again. Power is current squared times the resistance. We say P is I squared R. So this is the second relevant equation that you need to get in. And you need to say that, that if current reduces, power is reduced very much. Okay, so lower current... leads to a large reduce in power, large reduction in power loss. It's always the current which causes the heating in the wires, which is the power loss. Why is that? Because the current is the flow of charge and you get that friction between them. So now you can see that the high voltage is much, much more efficient than the lower voltage. This is almost 100% efficient. Obviously it can't be, but this one is much less efficient. And therefore, all you need to do to sum it up is make sure you say it's the low current, which means, which gives, or which increases efficiency. Or you could say, as I did, the higher current would cause heating, which would cause the power loss. Okay, thank you very much for listening.